So my PhD was all around trying to understand what children and young people get from being part of sports, really. Because um, we normally talk about the, the, the great things that children get from sport, but that's not always the case. Uh, there's lots of examples where sport hasn't been that great to people. So I wanted to find out what children can get from sport beyond the physical and the tactical and the technical the, around their personal development. It was a very personal choice, really. Um, I think it started with me being uh, an athlete for 20 years. I got so much out of a sport, but I also had some difficult moments in sport and I wanted to understand a lot more how we can maximize the good moments and remove the bad times really as much as we can. Um, but my research ties in really well with the, uh, the work that I do at Leeds Beckett uh, because it's a cooperation between the university, between Leeds Beckett and the International Council for Coaching Excellence which is something like the United Nations of Coaching. It's a not-for-profit organization, member-based, that is trying to improve coaching worldwide. Um, so all the research that I do has that purpose, that is trying to support people develop coaching systems or actually support the development of tools that help coaches on the ground. Well, the impact of my research is, um, I think it's been substantial really because uh, the work that we've done, and it's not just me, but it's, it's the group of people that work around uh, the sport coaching uh, school really. Um, we are influencing policy around the world. We produced uh, international frameworks that are really supporting the development of a new type of coaching system around the world. Uh, we've developed tools uh, for coach developers, that is the, the people that train the coaches, um, and those have been applied on the ground right now. My proudest achievement uh, to date um, would be the development of the iCoach Kids uh, website and the free um, uh, As a children's coach myself of 20 years, uh, I always wish that someone had really put together everything that I needed to know uh, when I was starting out. Right, so Abaiva is the, the moment of truth, really. You've, uh, you've completed your dissertation, uh, you submitted it, uh, and then you have to face a panel of two external examiners, an internal examiner and an independent chair. And you are supposed to have a professional conversation with them where you clarify any questions they may have about your thesis. It is, by all accounts, a nerve-wracking moment, uh, but in my case it was also a very enjoyable one. Um, I was lucky enough that two people that I respect uh, a lot came to be uh, my external examiner people that I respect their work uh, and also someone, uh, Professor Andrew Sparks was my internal examiner and I, 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 I mean, I've been reading Andrew's work for 20 years. Uh, so to me, half, half those three people there was incredible. Um, I really enjoyed it, they asked uh, hard questions, um, but it was great to put my work to the test uh, and it was, it was highly enjoyable, it was, it was painful, <laughs> but it was highly enjoyable.